Today's virtual informational open house will discuss the former Bay Point Golf Course. We will discuss the site history, brownfield basics, the brownfield process, and existing brownfields. Let's start with the history of Bay Point. Through a review of aerials, it was determined the Bay Point Golf Course was constructed around 1970. Around 1976, the clubhouse and the maintenance warehouse were developed. In the last few years, the course was neglected and closed. In February 2020, the county purchased Bay Point. From March to May 2020, the county cleaned up the site so that it could remain open to the public. The cleaning up included clearing significant amounts of vegetation from the ponds, mowing, and performing minor repairs to the former cart path. Since the county purchased the site, other activities have occurred. Topographic survey has been acquired for design. The bathrooms were removed. An environmental consultant was retained for assistance with the brownfield process. The county has finalized a scope of work with a stormwater consultant. The county will provide opportunities for feedback on the design at a later time. Please refer to the county website for the schedule. Brownfield Basics As the county is considering designating Bay Point as a brownfield, we would like to share the basics of brownfield designations with you. To describe what the Bay Point Golf Course Brownfield designation would mean to you, we will provide information on the purpose of the brownfield program, describe the brownfield process, and explain the benefits of a brownfield designation. What is a brownfield? Brownfields are properties where reuse may be complicated by the presence or potential presence of environmental contamination. These are properties that, if contaminants are unaddressed, may have a negative impact on the local community and may be an obstacle for reuse of an area. Reuse and revitalization. The brownfield designation process allows property owners to access federal resources and technical assistance throughout the life of the project. The designation process ensures that local community stakeholders are identified and given opportunities to participate through informational meetings, community forums, and public hearings. This ensures that the future use of the brownfield site meets both community and reuse goals while improving the area. The brownfield process. Suggestions for brownfield redevelopment sites can come from community members, property owners, developers, real estate agents, or government planning and development boards. A phase one environmental site assessment is completed for the selected site to determine the presence of potential environmental contamination. A phase two environmental site assessment is conducted if the phase one investigation indicates the likely presence of contamination. After the site investigation is complete, the entity responsible for requesting a brownfield designation will conduct informational open houses and hold public hearings to disseminate information to the public and stakeholders. After collecting and reviewing stakeholder input, a resolution may be passed by the Board of County Commissioners designating the site as a brownfield. If the site is designated as a brownfield, the county will enter into an agreement with the Florida Department of Environmental Protection outlining the work to be completed. This will also allow the county to apply for reimbursement of certain costs during the site cleanup. The Bay Point Brownfield Designation Process. Information gathered during the previous redevelopment efforts indicate that low-level contamination exists at the Bay Point Golf Course from the historic use of pesticides and herbicides for turf management. This low-level contamination is not immediately harmful to residents or pets, but can pose a long-term risk. It must be addressed as part of any site reuse activities. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection has established safe levels of contamination for several types of land use, including industrial, residential, and recreational use. Pinellas County is proposing to clean the site to meet recreational land use requirements. This is consistent with the end use as a stormwater treatment center and conservation area. Pinellas County is now seeking input from you on the proposed Bay Point Brownfield designation. The virtual informational open house is designed to provide the community with information about the site and future plans for reuse. A comment form has been provided to collect feedback and questions about this project. 
A virtual public information meeting will be held on September 29th to answer questions about the proposed brownfield designation and address feedback received. Public hearings may be held with the Board of County Commissioners after the next meeting if there is community support. The Board of County Commissioners must adopt a formal resolution designating the former Bay Point Golf Course as a brownfield site. This is the final step needed before work can begin on site assessment. A copy of the resolution is sent to the Department of Environmental Protection to begin the process of developing a brownfield site rehabilitation agreement. The Brownfield Site Rehabilitation Agreement lays out responsibilities and cleanup limits. The agreement is part of the process for receiving approval from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, stating that the site has been cleaned to a level appropriate for its intended use. As part of the approval, a deed restriction will be placed on the property, limiting its future use as a passive park. Prior to reuse as a park, the low-level contamination at the site must be clearly defined. This means Pinellas County will conduct additional site assessments to collect soil and groundwater samples from various locations throughout the property. Statistical models of soil contamination will be created to define areas of concern. All site investigations are reviewed and approved by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection before starting to ensure compliance with state guidelines. The results from the additional site investigations will be used in the site design process. This information will be used to determine where and how much soil may be excavated or moved across the site during construction. Local Brownfield Examples Here are the areas in Pinellas County designated as brownfield areas or sites. The next slides show examples of successful redevelopment of brownfield sites in our area. A complete listing of brownfield area and site designations can be found on the Florida Department of Environmental Protection Brownfield Division website. The former landfill at 126th Avenue North was situated along 126th Avenue and the Cross Bayou Canal. Years of improper operation and disposal left the land covered with construction debris and unsuitable for development. Funding through the EPA Brownfields program allowed the county to purchase and rehabilitate the property without assuming liability for the contamination. The site will soon be offered for sale. Three illegal dump sites located in the Dansville area were identified and remediated in cooperation with the Environmental Protection Agency. The presence of the landfills prevented the neighborhood from growing and discouraged investment and redevelopment. The removal of the landfills allowed multiple parcels to be sold and redeveloped into affordable housing by Habitat for Humanity. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via the email addresses or phone numbers provided on the next slide. Thank you for reviewing our virtual open house.